Hello, my name is Wendy. Welcome to the space. I'm going to be doing a reading for the collective. Let's start off, set the energy. No, oh, angelic light work. Card number 41, manifestation blessings for pro progress. Manifestation blessings for progress. So this feels like um, those of you who are wanting to move forward, move towards something, progress, maybe you're feeling a little stuck. This is um, to help. So it looks like this reading is to help you um, move forward, progress and blessings. I like that. All right, see what your animal totem is today for the collective. Eagle, spirit, trust in your higher self. I love that, that, um, Maybe you're in your head a bit or um, coming from a place of lack. I know I do when I'm feeling really stuck. When I start paying attention to what, what my thoughts are, what thoughts I'm entertaining. A lot of times my thoughts think me when I'm in a stuck place. And so trusting in your higher self trusting in your intuition and eagle is up high and can see far when i'm in my thoughts i'm really in a storyline and it keeps me at a low vibration and it, a story keeps you really grounded not in a good way like um keeps you in that story so I don't like this is going collective. All right, so this is a reading for the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if this is a reading for you, let me know by liking, subscribe. So, all right, let's get going. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, reversals. Wow, this does feel a little stuck. So collective in the past, um, five of cups in reverse. In the past, it looks like you've um, had personal setbacks and you're finding peace, accepting what's going on, moving forward forgiving yourself. So let's get some clarification what this was that um, clarifying five of cups in reverse. Uh, the moon. So it looks like there was um, some fear and anxiety, illusions. It looks like you um, maybe delusions, a little um, kind of stuck in fantasy of of a situation instead of the actual um, reality of what the situation was. Bottom of the deck is Wheel of Fortune, Good Luck, Destiny, Turning Point. So it looks like even though there were these difficulties that you got over in the past, that your Wheel of Fortune changed. Um, and it looks like you're wanting to move towards 10 of cups, wish fulfillment, family, harmony, 
alignment. So in the past, making peace with um, something that, this could be business, a situation, a relationship, a friendship, whatever that was not, you weren't seeing it in the full light of day. It was dimly lit and now you've accept you had accepted that and and you're headed towards ten of cups in present time you're in the lovers reversed so you've been focusing on self love this this feels like the um the stuck energy. So you've gone through a lot in the past. You, you're wanting 10 of cups, emotional fulfillment, and you've been working on self-love, but there's some kind of um, suffering that you're going through and detachment uh, and fear of commitment. That feels so right now, that feeling of stuckness maybe um let's see clarification of lovers in reverse wow two of cups in reverse it's feeling more like and more like relationship some kind of relationship so again self-love you've been working on self-love but uh, so okay you're in, you're not in a very harmonious place, maybe misaligned, um, imbalanced, distrustful, tension, no communication. Again, this could be um, a relationship so, I mean, with the lovers and the two of cups, it does feel like a relationship issue. Um, at the bottom of the deck is four of pentacles. So you're focusing on your money, insecurity, your foundation. And it, but it's making you feel fragile or maybe a little unstable. Um, the six of pentacles reversed again, self-care, self-love, self-love, self-care. So you're focusing on yourself, um, which is wonderful. And from what you've gone through in the past, I could see why, um, this to me in relationship is like a breadcrumbing one-sided relationship or relationships that are built on a, a power dynamic. So someone could have been um, stringing you along, breadcrumbing you, it, it's, happening now let's get some clarification are you being strung along in some type of relationship um four of cups reversed it's like a sudden awareness retreat withdrawal it's um It looks like you're looking for stability, but there's something that happened in the past um, that has created this um, retreat, withdrawal. 
So I could see why you might be feeling stuck right now. Um, when you, thank you, Eagle. In the past, and maybe even a bit right now, there's this, you've gone through situations where it's hard to trust some, it's hard to trust people because your trust was um, taken advantage of because you gave, you put your trust in someone who's not trustworthy. And now it's creating this distrust, a kind of a blanket distrust of people and um, not wanting to get hurt again. Yes, your higher self is in seven of swords reversed. There is some, there is deception and even self deceit where you, you know, I, what, everything's fine. Um, and keeping secrets. And, and it's caught, it caused you um, to distrust others and distrust yourself. Your challenge right now is the five of wands, competition, conflict, disagreement, strife, tension. Five of wands to me, sometimes it feels like a lot of fighting. Right now it feels like, um, feels like inner conflict. distrusting people who put you in a competitive place who create conflict and tension and maybe your part in that allowing it to go on since there is self-deceit um feels like a real opportunity to learn about where have i been um you know with the moon i was talking about it were a little delusional. There's illusions, but a little delusional in, in um, I'm getting, placing someone up on a pedestal. And agreements, agreements, um, this, this can still go, to a work situation in a romance, because I don't, um, in my mind, the, the big key that I'm getting through all of this <clears throat> is it's, it's created a, a lack of trust in yourself and others. And the message that's coming through is to trust in your higher self. That's where your trust can be put safely. So knowing when you are in a low vibrational place, when your mood is low, when your thoughts aren't supporting you and loving thoughts. So self, the way you're talking to yourself, then knowing, okay, my vibration is pretty low and this is not a good place to create from. This isn't a great place to manifest from. So just knowing and accepting this is where I am, maybe today, maybe right now, this is where I'm, I'm at and there's nothing wrong with where I'm at. I'm noticing, I'm realizing I'm in a kind of a stuck feeling. And what does that feel like? Explore it. I mean, you're there. Instead of trying to escape it or ignore it or um, delude yourself, 
that, you know, it's not going on. I'm feeling fine. Um, being like, yeah, I'm in it right now. I'm really in it. Um, I'm feeling, <laughs> I got, I'm feeling compromised and, and sit with those really tough emotions, maybe even meditating, quieting the mind and just feeling even your body, like how these kind of lower vibrational energies they're they're making my i'm i'm holding tension in my neck and shoulders or like my lower ribs um oh your solar plexus is there so i'm feeling unempowered so when i'm in this place that it's making me feel unempowered it's making me feel needy it's making me feel lack it's making me feel like I'm, I've always been here and I will always be here and I'll never get out of this place. I mean, it could go there. And what you're wanting to do is manifest blessings for progress to move forward. And so trying to ignore, avoid, evade, bypass, like spiritually bypass these difficult places Instead of doing that, accepting where you are, being in acceptance of where you are, and saying hello to those difficult emotions, seeing if you can name them, like what's the texture of where you are? Pema Chodron, um, I'll, I'll put a link to you know some of her videos. She has a book getting unstuck um and it's just so beautiful about instead of trying to move through this and get rid of these icky feelings to to create a space to hold space for yourself and sit with these interesting textures they're uncomfortable. Yes, they're wildly uncomfortable. But the more there's a, a warrior spirit of sitting with uncomfortable emotions. So they they don't have the power over you any longer. That you can sit with them. And what I found is the the more I am brave enough to sit with emotions that are really uncomfortable. And, and a lot of times they're like a mixture of various emotions and identifying them, allowing them to be, then the quicker you can shift out of that space. And then when you feel better when you take a nap, when you sleep and, um, and when you feel your vibration, your mood changing, then that's, that's where manifestation manifesting from a place of already feeling good and appreciating and imagining from those wonderful places to um, to have that blessings of progress of moving forward. So, <clears throat> and I just want to validate again that with what you've gone through and what you've been dealing with, anybody would feel um, a lack of trust in others getting hurt, being deceived, and even, you know, being hard on yourself that you didn't see things or you kind of did see things, but maybe you just kept making excuses or whatever that is, that when you raise your vibration, then you can connect with your higher self and appreciate that connection and trust that your higher self has you in their focus. You are their only 
object that they're focusing on. And because they have such a higher, your higher self has such a high perspective, they can see where you want to go. And how, and so a lot of times as I'm, as I um, kind of opened up that and strengthened the muscle of connecting with my higher self, my intuition, I would not get inspirational. At first I would not get, and I still oftentimes do not get, this is where you should go and you will meet this person and go here. It's more like, um, go for a walk now, now, but it's not that, yeah, I'm going to go for a walk now. Trusting impulses, intuitive impulses, even if you don't really know why. There's no logic because intuition isn't about logic. And so you start following these guidances and the timing that I found what, when I'm really in tune with my higher self and trusting those impulses, the um, synchronicities, the divine timing, it's just amazing. It's just, I, and, and then I learn by teaching myself what is coming from higher self and what's coming from ego and what's coming from maybe some other energies in your space. And so it takes practice to um, trust in your higher self. And, um, and then you don't have to trust the people around you as much as trusting your instincts that I, this person just, I want to like them but I just, mm, that's your instincts. That's trusting your instincts. So, all right. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Um, like, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for sharing your energies with me. Bye.